Okay, so let's restart class now. <laughs> so, if we look at this graph here, we were talking about factors which affect the markets. We looked at the foreign exchange market, but it's also similar enough for the stock market. This is the Shanghai Stock Exchange from 2005 to 2015. Okay, what can we see? The stock market in China is growing. In 2005 it was 1,000 points. Okay, what is it today? 3,000 points. So since 2005, the Chinese stock market went from 1,000 points to 3,000 points. Was it a good idea to invest in the Chinese stock market in 2005? Or not a good idea? Chinese currency was also getting stronger. Did you want to invest in the Chinese stock market in 2005 or not? How much, if you invested $10 in China, in Shanghai stock market in 2005, how much money would you have today? It went from 1,000 to 3,000. If you invest $10 here, how much money would you have today? 500? 30, right? You have, it went from 1,000 to 3,000, you invest $1,000 here, you would have $3,000 today. Okay, is that a good deal? Would you have liked to invest in the Chinese stock market or not? No, you think you can make a higher return than that? That's quite a high return. Okay, if you invested in bonds, you wouldn't get that kind of return. Okay, it's a big profit. Okay, so we could look at the Chinese economy over the long term, high GDP growth rates, okay, improving productivity, okay, stronger currency. So we might think China is a good place to invest over the long term. And we would have been right in 2005. China was a good place to invest over the long term. Okay? But what happens to the market in the short term? We can lose money in the short term. Okay? This was in 2007. Look at that. It went up to nearly 6,000 and came down to 1.5. Okay? So what's happening here? Everybody's following the trend, following the trend, following the trend. Okay? In China, everybody's buying stocks. What happens here? Everybody's selling, everybody's following the trend. Who do you not want to be? You don't want to be the person who said to their friends, no, I don't want to buy stocks. No, no, you can't make money in stocks, it's too risky. Then the price keeps going up, and you keep saying to your friends, no, no, I'm not buying stocks, too risky. And then finally the price goes up to here, and you give in. You say to your friends, you're right, you can't make a lot of money in stocks. You were right all along. I'm going to get in the game now. Why right? start buying stocks in China? Tell your mother to sell the house. Why right? buy all the stocks? Then, oh no, in just less than one year, you lose all your money, okay? Then it happens again. In just last year, stock market went up to 5,000 and last summer it went down again, right? But did it go down to below 1,000? No. So people should invest in the long term. Do you understand? You want to avoid this kind of problem. Maybe you could sell here. If you invested for the long term, you might sell here. You might say, oh, I, I already got a big profit, right? Or you might sell here. Okay? So, in, do you understand short-term yes. factors? Yes. Short-term factors, trend following, investor positioning, okay? Does this make sense, the stock market going up? Is this based on China's really increased its GDP and productivity no. in this time? No. Or fiscal stimulus? No, it's not based on any reason. This is based on people copying each other, like psychology, right? Yes. So it's dangerous to invest in the short-term in the market. Okay, it's safer to invest. If you're going to invest in the long term, that's called the fundamental. Fundamentals. Okay, so same for the foreign exchange market. So then next question. What affects the exchange rate in the medium term? <coughs> so uh, EJ Hong. Yeah. What kind of things affect the exchange rate in the medium medium term? Yes. 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 
fiscal policy. Yes. Uh, related economic growth. Yes. <coughs> Excellent. <laughs> right. So, right, that's the things which affect in the medium. Right. What about what's going to happen about the interest rate difference? If my country has a higher interest rate than the other country, what's got, what effect is that going to have on my currency in the medium term? <coughs> My country has a high interest rate. I'm Korea. Japan has a low interest rate. So what's going to happen to the Korean won and the Japanese yen in the medium term, according to that factor? E J Gong. Korea's interest rate is three percent. Japan's interest rate is zero percent. What's going to happen over the medium term? We just talked about the IRP. What happens to the high interest rate currency? What happens to the low interest rate currency? <coughs> Can anybody help him? Hmm? High interest rate currency gets stronger or weaker over the medium term? Weaker, why? If it has a high interest rate, it also has? High inflation, that's the reason it has a high interest rate, okay? We already talked about the current account and monetary policy. If we're doing some QE, do you understand QE? Is our currency going to get stronger or weaker? Weaker. Weaker, right? So we can see Japan had a big QE program, their currency gets weaker. This kind of thing can add to this, right? Japan just announced they're going to do a QE program. Investors all start selling the yen. In the short term, it can go very, very weak, reacting to news, right? Uh, fiscal policy. Uh, the U.S. is doing big fiscal stimulus. Is the U.S. dollar going to get stronger or weaker in the medium term? Fiscal stimulus. They're spe spe getting a lot of loans and spending a lot of money. Is the U.S. dollar going to get stronger or weaker? Weaker, right? Increasing the money supply in the economy. So this is all medium term things. And then long term, the most accurate, uh, e.g. Sue. Yes? What factors affect the exchange rate in the long term? E. Uh, Chang Hee? I think all, all factors influence the situation. What? All, all of these factors is long term? Yes. Then why do they have an arrow here, medium term and short term? <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about which ones influence the most in the long term, right? Does trend following influence the Shanghai stock market in the long term? No, it's just like a blip and it goes back to the normal trend. Okay? Do you understand? Yes. Investors can do something like this, but look, it goes back to the long run. In the end, it goes back to what it would be anyway, here, right? It's still here, whether we had this or not. Okay? So, what are the long term? What are the things which affect in the long term? PPP. What is PPP? What are we talking about? <coughs> when we're talking about PPP, what are we really talking about? Begins with I, ends with N. F L A T I O in the middle. <laughs> yes, very good. <laughs> right? PPP, we're basically talking about inflation, okay? Purchasing power is changing, it's because of inflation. What is another important long term factor? Important factor in any economy, key point in any economy.